Right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we are over here in the former capital of Thailand. We're in Ayutthaya again today. So today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go and we're gonna walk through the historical park. So there's a park here kind of on the southern part of the island that probably has like at least a dozen or so of these old temples. And it's kind of a cool little area. There's a lot of shade trees, stuff like that. And most people come up here and they uh, ride their bikes around and, uh, or they take a tuk-tuk and they just kind of go around the outside. So we're gonna walk through the park and see the, kind of some of this cool, pretty cool old stuff and see if there's something interesting. So uh, let's see what we see. So the first ruin that's right here, this is kind of the west side, the, the most westerly one. This is Wat Wang Chai. And this looks like an old ordination hall and it's partially excavated. You can see the base of the old hall and then the chedi. And then it looks like there's a part of a Buddha. Over there it looks like a wee hand. And there's like a canal that goes through here and there's like lily pads and all kinds of stuff. So it's a, it's a pretty cool looking area. It's all green and nice. So let's look in here really quick and then we'll walk down to the next one. Now I'm not gonna give you much historical data. I'm just gonna kind of talk and show you what it is. So if something piques your interest, uh, you can always like do a quick Google search and find out a little bit more. But here it is. This is the old uh, ordination hall. You can see the chetty right behind. And then just to the north of that ordination hall is a little wee hand. You can see the the columns that were up, they were the Ayutthaya style. You can see they're in the uh, octo octagon shape. And then here's the base for another little building. And then there was a few chetties and stuff like that. And you can see the perimeter wall around the temple. And then there's a bunch more. They just kind of string out along the road here. And you can see another one over here. And here's one of the old canals. The canals would have just crisscrossed the island of Ayutthaya. So there would have been, you know, in the old days, there would have been people out here on boats. This is how everybody would have went around. The canals were the road. So now it's a, the canals have been mostly filled in and it's a, the regular paved roads. Okay, this is what Luang Chi Krut. And most of the stuff down here is just to the base. There's not a whole lot to this temple. Now over there, that's a, like a little multi-purpose room and it would have had a lower level and it's tied to uh, Wat Mayong. I guess it was like a, like a palace room or something like that from the old, the old temple. And Wat Mayong is off to the east of the island. And then there's quite a bit more to it. This looks like the base of a chetty, another chetty over there. And then they would have probably had a building here in the middle. There's a lot of bricks, a lot of stuff here to it. And then this would have been the ordination hall to this temple. And then you can see the canals over there. So this is just a few hundred meters from the, uh, from the first temple we looked at. There's not a whole lot here to see at this one either. And we'll cross the road and we'll keep on going down. So this would have been the, the bot or the uh, ordination hall. You can see the pillars here. And the main Buddha would have been over there facing towards the east and up here would have been a place for the monks. And you can see these columns would have been in the Ayutthaya style. They would have been shaped like an octagon. And there would have been two doors over here and then it would have opened up in the backside over there to the main Buddha. Yeah, at one time I think this park was fantastic, but it looks like they've kind of stopped maintaining it. A lot of the little light poles and stuff are falling down and they're not cutting the grass back. And it looks like some of the footbridges are starting to fall apart. So I don't know, maybe they ran out of money with no tourism or what, but uh, maybe they'll, they'll fix this up again and uh, it'll be back into tip-top shape. But it's hard to say, a lot of times in Thailand they build something really fancy and then they just stop taking care of it. So here's one of the little bridges that you can cross. And it's pretty cool. I mean, they have all these little canals and everything. So I don't know if these followed the same like canal paths that they used to have or if these were just built here for this park. But as you can see, you can, some of the bridges are starting to fall apart. So you gotta be a little careful. And then you can see all the grass and everything growing. And there used to be paths that go all the way up there. They had like little shades places. And uh, now it's kinda, 
you might run into a few snakes or something like that. But there's another temple over there. You can just see through the trees. So let's keep walking. So this temple here is magnificent. This is Wat Chao Prab. And I don't know what that means, but check out the stupa. It uh, looks like a late Ayutthaya style stupa to me. And then this would have been the ordination hall. You can see the remnants of the Buddha. We'll go up there and look. You can see the inner wall. And then over here would have been the outer wall. And then there's a couple little buildings, little stupas. Now what's interesting, over here in the corner is what they call the warehouse. And you can just see the base of it over there in the trees. And uh, what they did is they actually stored tin. During Ayutthaya, tin was a, like a precious metal. And so you could trade tin, but you had to have permission from the royal. You'd have to have a royal decree in order to trade the tin. All right, let's go over this little wall and then we'll go up there and look at that stupa. Okay, so here is the stupa. Now this one has been restored fairly recently. That's why it's in such great shape. And now there's a little data plate down here that says that it's on a three-tiered octagon base, which is a middle Ayutthaya style. And then uh, all around it, you can see some of the, the little chetties and stuff, parts of them that have all fallen down. This would have been the base of the uh, marker stones around this ordination hall. And they've came in and they've fixed up some of the plaster so you can see what it used to look like. And then this would have been, uh, like these columns here would have probably been a roof. So it would have had a, a little thing in the back, like a little uh, awning over it so you could walk around. Now this is really nice. So you see these little notches right here. Oh, this is really interesting. So this is the inner wall of the temple. And I believe what they did is they put candles in these. Some places they had the little Buddha images, some places they had the candles. And it's kind of cool. I've seen some pictures of where they have the, the candles and they're doing uh, ceremonies at night. And so all the monks are holding the candles and it's really, really amazing. And then they put them in those little notches. Now this is just outside. There's some more stuff over there. There's another temple and then there's another fantastic little chetty uh, right over there. And look at that, that's, that is brilliant. And this would have been the entryway to the temple right here. Yeah, this is the front of it and you can see the little wall. And they could have put the small little Buddhas in there or the lanterns, it just depends. And then this goes into that little ordination hall. And so you would have seen here, this is the base of the columns that would have held up the roof. And then it would have had the main Buddha right there. And then that would have looked right at the stupa. Wow, that's brilliant. And a lot of these Buddhas have had their heads cut off. A lot of vandals came in and uh, cut the heads off for some reason. So the outer wall, these, this is a shame. Usually the outer wall had a fantastic little gate and it would have uh, had like a little arch that you would have walked through. And then there's a stupa here, or a little chetty, and then another one that that tree is completely engulfed. That is amazing. And then it would have had an entrance on the east, and then over there you can see a little bit more of it on the north side. But those would have been a nice arch, and it would have been quite cool to see. And usually those walls were like about five feet high or so. So here's this little stupa, and they're calling this a subsidiary stupa. And it was the late Ayutthaya style. It would have been one of those tall, slender ones. And then you can see the little notches up there. And then this tree has completely engulfed the other little stupa that was right next to it. So sometimes they'll have like three of these. They'll be built in, a, in like a row. They might have had more along here, but there's no traces of them. But just look at this tree. You can just barely see some bricks in there amongst the roots. So I think this is actually like a bodai tree. The, leaf is shaped like a heart yeah and there's not much that you can see of it and then over there is the uh, the gate not much left of it here and this is the outer wall let's look at the foundation of this and then we'll go to the next temple. Yeah, this little building right here would have been this is the tin warehouse and you can see that all, all that's left of it is just the foundation so like I said earlier this uh, this here you would have stored the tin and that would have been a, like a very important metal for the people in IoT to have. And then you could trade it if you were an authorized trader with the Royal Decree. OK, 
Okay, this is the gate on the north side. There's two gates that was on the north side of this temple. And you can see it's in still pretty decent shape. You can see that little lotus shaped thing. That would have been a symbol of the Ayutthaya era. And this would have been an arch. The arch has collapsed, but it would have been quite tall. I mean, that's probably, I don't know, 10 foot tall or so. And it's right next to a pavilion. Now they say this would have been similar to Wat Si, si Sam Pet, right over by the Royal Palace. And it, you can see that it has the lower part and then it has a, like a base up there. Let's see if we can look around in that. And that's just right here to the north of that big stupa. Yeah, this is pretty cool looking. So it had the, the lower wall here and it has like a little platform. And then they would have had the main building on the inside. And it looks like there's a little bit of a stairwell. I don't know if it's the stairs or just the part of the wall. We can climb up in here. Now this big rock right here, I've seen these at the temples in Lopbury. I'm not sure what they do, but they had those at Lopbury. They were hanging. And then you would have had this right here. Yeah, I'm not sure what they would have used this building for. That looks like the part of a chetty that's fallen down and then you, it has some rocks and stuff on the inside here but it hasn't been really excavated out at all kind of just an interesting looking building yeah they call it the pavilion is what they call this okay so let's walk up to the next temple one more look at this chetty here yeah that's nice let's go to the next temple down the road the one that we can see from the distance All right, so the next temple we're going to take a look at, this is Wat Ubosat, which is like the Thai word for uh, like the bot, the ordination hall. But that chetty is spectacular. Wow, that's really nice. Now this temple here, again, it's another one of those that's basically down to the base. You can see the remnants of, you know, the little bases here. This would have been a column. So they would have had a porch here. So the Ordination hall would have built, been built right here and they would have had a little porch across the front that would have been a low porch. And I've seen those, I mean, you see those old Ayutthaya style buildings and it's fantastic. They would have had a Buddha standing right here and you would have came in, people would have made merit right there, stuck the gold leaf on the, the Buddha by the front door. Then you would have came in here and these would have been the support columns that would have held the roof up and they would have been shaped like an octagon. You see how they have the bricks and then there would have been the, the main Buddha right there. Oh, and it's a shame. This would have probably had like nice murals, everything else on the walls. And then you can see that long slender stupa and it has little notches for like the little Buddhas and stuff in it, you see. But I think that long slender would have been similar to the late Ayutthaya style. And this is right up here against the uh, stupa. So you can see the bases right there would have had some big chetties on the four corners. And then a good look at this there's a few little trees and stuff growing up there, and the very top of the spire is gone. But it is nice. So this is one that they've came back in and restored to make it look like this. And there would have been some stuff here, some little auxiliary buildings, maybe like a little shrine and another little stupa. And then uh, probably the canal would have been between this and that other temple. Now, I'm not sure if the Weehan, the Weehan probably would have been right over here. You see like that little part of the brick there? That might have been the wee hand for this temple. But there's nothing much remaining. The highlight of this is definitely looking at this, uh, this spire stupa. And you can see the base of a little jetty right there. You see a little bit of the plaster around it, but it's all pretty much uh, been erased to the sands of time. And then this would have been a pedestal around these jetties. Yeah, it's a shame. This would have been fa fantastic to see when it was when it was going. Now there's some more temples. I can see another spire way over there. And right over here by the temples, look at all these ducks. There's a million of them. So duck is what's for dinner. And they got a little wetland over there. These are domesticated ducks. So the guy's sitting over there by the chair. Okay, this one here actually took a little bit of getting to. The uh, temple is built out here on a little island. And there's only a little bridge they have to go through like a government place to get to this one. So it, you can see it from the road and from that other temple. But this is Wat Chao Pram, I think is what it's called. 
And here is the prong shaped stupa. This one looks like it would have been more of a Khmer style. So this is a good look at the prong. So this actually was uh, early Ayutthaya style. They're not sure when this was built, but they would have had a standing Buddha right there. And then they would have had four of those. And then there would have been a little porch right here that would have went over to this little structure. But they say that they uh, found traces of uh, the Brahmism and this temple was later converted to Buddhism. And they found relics from India and everything else. There's not a whole lot left here of this temple, which is a shame. This one's kind of cool. But they have the, the little inside, so there would have been, you know, the relic inside this little, this building at the base of the stupa. And they had an inner wall and an outer wall. And now this is just out here on this little island. Okay, let's go to the next temple. So right here in the middle of all these temples, this uh, farmer has his cow or the buffalo tied up out here. And then he's got a couple more so the buffalo can get some free food out here. And then they, it's kind of funny because you see all these like birds that hang around the cows. So they have this symbiotic relationship where the cows eat the grass, stir up the bugs, and then those birds eat the, the bugs that it stirs up. But you can see them all around it. And then there's uh, the little baby calf. But uh, getting some free food here, I don't blame them. And then the farmer's sitting right here on the, uh, on the motorcycle, watching the cows. All right, let's get over to the other chetty. Okay, so we got a little temple here that's kind of on an island. This is what Jetty Yai. We came all the way down a little trail and it's just, uh, it's blocking us off. There's no little bridge to go to it, which is a shame. It looks like a bell shaped and it looks like they've enlarged it. You can see where they have the bricks on the outside. So they renovated it and they made it bigger. Yeah, I can't find a way to go to it. I went all the way down here through the mud and uh, I'm blocked. And then just to the north of Wat Chedi Yai is this other temple right here. And it's another one that looks like it's on an island. So they must have to take a little boat over there to that to uh, cut the grass and stuff. But it looks like a fairly big complex. You got the uh, ordination hall, the Chedi, and over here would have been the wee hand and another chetty. This temple here took quite a bit of getting to. Had to come down through uh, like a little trail. The guy said we couldn't come. And then uh, I just, I went around, couldn't find the way. And then I came back through and the guy was trying to tell me I couldn't come and I just ignored him and came right over here to it. So this is, uh, you had to go through a government building to get to this. And then you had to come down through a grassy road through the mud kind of an interesting trail so here is this it's what jetty yai and it's uh, they say they superimposed another like the uh the circular part around it as you can see they've added those bricks to it now the rest of the temple is just completely gone the uh ordination hall the weehan everything is just gone so all that's left is this big chetty and it's just out here on pretty much an island. There's just a little trail to get here. And uh, I was over there in the trees earlier, just across the canal. So I got all the way around here. So uh, anyway, there's one more temple that I want to see. So hopefully I can get down to over there to it also. But it's just out here amongst all these trees and kind of swampy land. And it's over there. Okay, so we finally made it to this one. This will be our last little temple that we look at. And this one is fantastic. It's just, uh, it is isolated. I mean, you have to really work to get over here to get to this one. So you look around, there's quite a bit to it. So this looks like it was a, a hall in the late Ayutthaya style. You can see the base of it is kind of bowed like a boat. And it has three doors here. So this would have been like a king's, uh, like a king's temple. And I don't know the name of this. It's just over here by Wat Chetty Yai. There's no sign up or anything. And it's uh, just out here by itself. So over here, this would have been the wee hand. And then you would have had a little stupa over there. That would have been that long slender style with the little notches for the Buddhas. So there'd been some standing Buddhas in it. And then this one would have been a bell-shaped stupa. And it would have been right here between the ordination hall, which is right over here and then uh, 
would have had a low in, inside wall, and then this right here would have been the wee hand. Oh, this is really nice. And it's just so far out here. It's just out amongst the trees. And there is nobody here. The ordination hall, you can see the stones that are kind of broken off that are around it. So this is the data plate. So they had this set up at one time for tourists to come over here to it. But like everything else, this is just kind of falling apart. They're not taking care of it. And this is all in this park here for uh, the queen mother or the grandmother now. And you see this hall here also would have been bowed in the middle. And then it has the seam of stones around and it would have had, uh, looks like a little chetty road over here and some other stuff. And then right over there is that Wat Chetty Yai. So this one here would have had two doors. This seam of stone's in great shape here. The others are in completely destroyed pretty much. So it has two entrances that would have came in here. And then this would have been a nice open room. Doesn't look like they would have had any, any columns in here. And then it looks like there would have been some notches, five little notches at the base of the Buddha maybe for some candles or something. And then that's the chetty over there. But it had two entrances in the back. So you could have went over here and then you could have came out and went over to the, the main chetty. And then the outer wall is over there. And then you would have had some more little chetties all around it. And then over there's the wee hand and that other little one. So this is the little wee hand. And you can see it still has some of the plaster up here. And a stairwell to get in. This one would have been a smaller building. And that bird's loud. It has eight little octagon shaped columns inside. And then they had a little notch over there for a Buddha. And then over here would have been facing the, uh, the Chetty. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, this is a nice little temple. Yeah, nobody's over here to appreciate this. What is this here? Looks like one of the tiles from the roof that they got dug up. And then uh, everything is pretty much gone. There's a little bit of the wall. They would have had, it looks like some pedestals here, maybe for, uh, I don't know what they would have had inside of here. Maybe they would have had a seated Buddha on each side and there would have been another Buddha right here. And then here is the last, like the little minor stupa. And it would have been kind of a long skinny one. And then right there at the top would have been where the bell was at. And then it would have went up to like the little point. And this is on a octagon base. Yeah, this is a nice ruin. And it's just out here, nobody's enjoying it. And as you can see, there's just water all around here. Yeah, this is really cool. One last look at the jetty. You see the plants growing up there. It still has quite a bit of the molding and everything, especially right down here at the lower part and then right around here. So this would have had some smaller little jetties kind of up around, kind of like the Wat Buri Ram had like the little tiny jetties all around. And there's no data at all on any of these things. So I can't even tell you the name of this. I'm sorry, I'll have to do some research and see if I can find it. And then uh, over there looks like a bell tower. Let's take a look at it. This is that last structure. It looks like it had a little covered like uh, porch on the front, it has these columns out here, and then would have had three entrances. The middle one would have been reserved just for the king. And then would have had the two side doors for the commoners. And then it looks like they had a small little Buddha image over here. So I don't know what room this was, or what this was used for, just for prayers or whatever. Has the raised platform over here for the monks. And then here would have been the Buddha. And it looks like just the, like the chest and a couple odds and ends of it is left. Not much. And then it would have had a back door here and on the other side. And then I would have ran over there to the main part of the temple. All right, one last little look here. This is the little bell tower. And it looks like some of it I've seen, it has kind of a Persian influence. You see like a lotus shaped or a little archway over the, the window. And it would have had four of them. This side of it is pretty much completely fallen off. And that would have kept on going up. Yeah, this is a neat little building. 
This whole temple complex is pretty cool. It's just a shame that there's uh, not much left of it here. And you really can't come over and enjoy it too much. It's not easy to get over here. This is the last part of this little park. Now this is a uh, monument to the Queen Mother, Rama IX's mother, the former uh, king. And it just looks like it's all overgrown. They're not taking care of this at all, which is a shame. They have little pavilions and stuff and there's trash all around them and they're just kind of falling apart. So that's the whole, the whole tour. All right guys, so that finishes up our little walking tour of uh, this historical park here. I think they call this like the Queen Mother Park or whatever her name was, I can't remember. But anyway, this is a lot of fun. It's really super hot. So uh, if you do this, you need to make sure you have some water with you. I mean, I live here and I'm still just sweating buckets. It is hot. So uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I enjoy walking around and seeing all this stuff. It's just a shame that they're letting it fall apart so the grass is getting so tall and uh, it's not as friendly to walk around as it, as it should be or could be. So anyway, guys, these temples are a lot of fun. If, uh, if you like this, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're uh, the first time here. This is the kind of stuff I do. I just uh, go around and I show you what I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. It's nothing fancy. I don't do the jumping off buildings and crazy yelling and most exciting thing ever. I just tell you what it is and then you can make up your own mind if you would like it or not. And uh, if you want to see it, you can. It's uh, what you see is just exactly what you see. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy. So uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you like this stuff or if you want me to do something different, tell me in a comment also. And uh, if you want, share it with your social media, let other people know about it. And until next time, guys, remember, from here in IUTI, life is a journey. Enjoy.